how to rank in Google local business results. In this video session, we're going to see how you can achieve better results from Google rankings. The first thing, if you haven't done so, created Google My Business listing, then definitely check it out because it's free. When you're you know, putting out posts using Google My Business, try to include keywords such as location, let's say Melbourne, Australia. If that was the local business looking for rankings in Melbourne, Australia, then realize Google is just a search engine. It's an algorithm. It's limited by what it can analyze. It can analyze keywords, photos, links, and so on. So therefore, your option then is to guide Google by using those digital assets, including keywords. So when you're creating posts using Google My Business, then try and include some keywords, as well as links every now and then to your website, anywhere on internet. Then we have reviews. Although it's against Google guidelines to get your customers to review you, as in give you five star reviews, okay, the other ways to get them to give you five star, star reviews is share links where they can provide the review for your business. Photos, very underutilized part of search engine optimization, including for local rankings. Photos, when you upload them, make sure they don't have unknown things such as ABC123 in the file name, but rather guide it. Let's imagine you're a house painter in Ottawa. If that's the case, what you can do with that photo naming, as in the file name of the photo, can be house painted in Ottawa or a um, white color house being painted in Canada. That's the image file name. You can upload that to Google My Business. You can upload that to your website and so on. Ideally, you want to guide Google. Let's imagine this scenario. Someone searches for house painter Ottawa. Local business results. My valued client is here. And I will continue supporting them because my valued client hires me. So how do we achieve this? First, we don't spam Google because that's the last thing you want to do. So if you are unfortunate to get SEO services from some SEO guru, and if they spam Google trying to rank your local results, then you either need to contact them, telling them to remove all the wrong things that they've done. Because unknown to you, Google may be not ranking your local results because of spam. So now, let's imagine house paint Ottawa, and that's where you want to be. As an example, if you were a house painter in Canada, as an example. But when people can search different platforms and yet you still want to be prominently here. When someone searches Google Maps, you want your details to be here, correct? So the next best thing that you can do is provide location information throughout your website. But don't just leave it at that, but rather utilize the technology available today, which is JSON LD structured data scripts. You can populate these details, rank your blog has samples, provide description, provide brand logo, also has map. That means you can search Google Maps, grab the URL of the Google Maps and place that information there. Also, same as feature, same as means in structured data if your local business has facebook profile or youtube profile or google plus profile or twitter profile they all become same as that means when google sees that it can say hmm i'm seeing same as that means these profiles are same as with your website and your business and so on that's why when you're using same as 
feature in structured data, make sure on those external URLs, you provide your business name, your business address prominently, because Google will analyze those external sites and then make a knowledge graph for your local business rankings as well. What else to do? Now, what else to do is, you, there is many things you can do. I'll share this insight with you. Let's imagine, you know, ranking in Google local business results. Let's take a look at this image here. Local SEO search engine ranking and review reviews. That's what the image says. So on your website, you know, start targeting blog posts, start creating content. And that content doesn't have to be just blog posts. Although blog posts are absolutely critical, even for your local business. Make sure that your navigational structure on your website does every now and then include keywords, such as, let's imagine you're a house painter in Ottawa. If that's the case, throughout your blog posts, some of the posts that you create will be related to those keywords. So make sure you use them in your blog posts. When you're uploading images, Remember, if the images is to do with your local business, that means it's taken in the location of your business. If that's the case, check out Rank Our YouTube channel for advanced image optimization, whereby you can provide further details. Some people will suggest to you that providing all this information for a local business is not going to help you to rank in Google. That's because they don't understand how Google works. Because let's go and search images here. Google is also an image search engine. That means it analyzes many things. How do, you, how do we think? You know, usage rights here. How does it know the images it finds on websites has some rights to use or not? Well, you provide a lot of details using different things. Make sense? So Google is an image search engine. All you need to do is understand how Google works. It works on keywords. It works on links. It works on photos. It analyzes all that. It looks at external sites. That's why you need to use structured data with same as features. You can utilize a PDF format, perhaps highlight your discounts and so on. When you create PDF documents, you can provide information about your business in PDF documents as well. Makes sense. All this content optimization and creation, if you follow these insights and definitely maintain social presence, whether it's Facebook, Google Plus, well, Google Plus is basically a must because it's to do with Google. If you're maintaining a YouTube channel and have videos related to your local business, then what you can do, I'll show you a trick that not many people will be able to show you, is you optimize the video, correct? Any video. Then, when you optimize the video, in 24, you can, within the 150 character space, give a link to some parts of your website. Because that video that you create on YouTube will be related to your website. That means if I search Google with these double quotes, then you can see someone else has shared my video. And yet, cleverly, I'm getting a quality backlink. And those who share usually are related. That means someone related to search engine optimization has shared this because they found this video useful. So if you're maintaining a YouTube channel, then you definitely should utilize a link pointing back to your website because that video will be related to your local business. If it isn't, then surely you cannot put that there, right? Because it'll be spam or else. Because YouTube does not say to us that we can't do that. Because if the video is about your local business, perhaps services you're providing, then you can perhaps word it such as, check out the latest ABC information on our website. Here's the link. 
150 character space before long as you grow your YouTube channel you'll be getting many many quality backlinks as well and it's not spam natural backlinks once again to wrap it up whatever you do definitely check out Google my business listing then your website is your temple make sure you optimize it and provide address details throughout your website not every page your contact page obviously isn't a good place to place that information because we don't have to spam Google the next part you can perhaps you know provide further details within the footer section and that can be throughout your entire website then next part utilize structured data for local business you can definitely check out structured data by okay you can check out schema.org or you can check out google help section to include structured data for your local business as well because here you can provide site link search box corporate contact logo social profile these are all encouraged by google so that's why you need to use them and then make sure you continually put out content when you put out content make sure to utilize keywords within url names within image names and so on and when you're maintaining external profiles every now and then you can share a backlink pointing to different parts of your website make sense these are the big guns you do this then you don't need to spam google but once you follow these insights then within one month two months you'll be getting free website traffic through google maps you'll get free website traffic from google search results for local businesses for various different keywords all you need to do is guide google that's all no spamming and that is how it's done and to be able to rank long tail keywords which are straightforward follow rank is insights because you'll get better results and i'll talk with you in the next video session